everyone, this is Emily with BizArts at Home Art Videos. BizArts is a nonprofit art center in Rockville, Maryland. For more information, please visit bizartcenter.org. Today I'm going to show you all how to make these marbled papers using materials you probably already have at your house. So I hope you have fun. It's a really simple, easy project and it makes really cool results. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to go over the materials that we're going to use for this project. This is a super messy project. It's a lot of fun though. It's fun to get messy when you're doing art. So I covered my table with newspaper so that I didn't get it messy. Uh, we need a piece of tin foil and shaving cream, a ruler or something else to scrape the paint off of our paper with, a uh, something to swirl the paint with. I'm using a chopstick, but you could use a toothpick or you could probably use your finger, anything else that has, you know, that's small to swirl with. Um, I'm using acrylic paint. I have napkins or paper towels because it's messy and the paper that we're going to print on. It's also a good idea when you're doing this to have the space that you're doing the printing on and then some extra space on the side where you can put your finished pieces so they can dry. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put some shaving cream on our tin foil. We want to make it about the same size as the paper we're using. So the paper I'm using is pretty small. It's not a full sheet of paper. So I'm going to put my shaving cream in about the same uh, size as my paper. Okay. I have some shaving cream down. For this next part, you can use a piece of paper or uh, like a little piece of cardboard. I'm just gonna go for it with my hands. No gloves because I'm okay with getting messy while doing art, but if you want to use gloves, you can. Okay, so I'm flattening the shaving cream out, making it look like my sheet of paper. This is a pretty thick um, layer of shaving cream here. And we're going to get at least three prints out of this. You could probably do more with this amount too. Okay. So we have our shaving cream on. We're going to start adding our paint. You can use any acrylic paint for this. You could also use food color, um, watercolor, ink, so any kind of paint that you already have. I'm going to start with just pink and blue for this one. We know pink and blue, if they're mixed together, they make a purple, so I think that will be interesting. Once we have our little paint pieces down on our shaving cream, we're gonna start swirling them around with our stick or toothpick or whatever you're using. Okay, pretty swirled. Looks cool. All right, so now I'm gonna take my paper and we're gonna press it right on top of the shaving cream. Putting it right on top and then lightly pressing down. Making sure to press down all over the shaving cream. So all the sides, the middle. This isn't going over my entire piece of paper, but that's okay. All right, once we're done, we're gonna peel our paper off. And move this over here. So our paper looks like this now, like a big splat of paint. And we're gonna take our ruler or you know any straight piece you're using for scraping. We're gonna press it down and scrape all this extra paint off the top of our paper. Paint and shaving cream. Flip it over. See all the swirls, pretty cool. 
Okay, so we have this left on our tin foil. This, I think, also looks really cool. So if you have any design that you wanna take up also, I'm gonna put another piece of paper on and just get this extra too on a piece of paper. Okay, same thing. We have another print from that. You could keep printing from what you have here. As many prints as you want. We still have a bunch of paint on here, but I wanna show you all another cool thing to do with this. All right, so I have all this leftover shaving cream. I'm gonna blend it all up. And now we're gonna do a print where we have a background color. So I'm gonna use this that I already have, sort of like a blue purple, and do another print with a background this time. So messy. <laughs> okay, so um, now that we have this cool color background, I'm gonna put some black and white on top. So it will be black and white swirls with this blue background color. Okay, my chopstick. The shaving cream is a little bit thinner now because I smoothed it out more. So we just have to be sure to keep our chopstick or whatever we're swirling with on the very top layer of the shaving cream so that we don't get holes in it. So I'm just dragging this across the very top layer. Okay. wipe off my ruler before I do this. So once all your pieces are dry, you can frame them, you could make them into cards, which I think would be really cool. You could use them as a background for another painting that you do. You could cut them up and make a collage with them. Lots of cool things you could do. You can combine different colors, so I just used a few colors in this, um, but you can see what other cool designs you make. I hope you all have fun creating. 